Hello there, Melissa and Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And today we start with our partner's lessons for the single side sword. And this is more an introduction into how to take the most out of partner lessons. And the first very important step is to acknowledge that we are training partners and not opponents. And therefore the first exercise that we are going to do is a calibration exercise. So Melissa puts on a mask and then I just exercise the basic strikes that we did in the last exercises, the mandriti, reversi and the punte towards her, but I don't strike through her, but I strike towards her. So I don't want to feel or don't want to uh, let her feel the impact like much at all, but I actually want to make contact. And this should feel really comfortable for your training partners and they should feel really safe, okay? If you've done this out of a, a standing position, then you want to start move around. So Melissa moves around a bit and I start to move around a bit and she even can present you some openings, right? So you still do the same stuff like this, you try. And the most important bit here is feedback. Talk to each other, right? Some people like it a bit rougher, <laughs> so, but most people would prefer to basically not get hit repeatedly in the head hard over and over and over again. Because uh, remember, we want to strike each other lots and lots and lots to really condition these strikes into our body and we don't want our partners to resist unnecessary or at the wrong moments, okay? So take your time and do this calibration exercise first. The next bit is very important for future exercises and for now we just keep it in mind and I show it with an advanced exercise. And that is the optimal rate of success, okay? The optimal rate of success means that most of the time, if you're a trainee in this exercise, you need to succeed, you need to do the exercise in a way that in principle it works. So if Melissa now is a coach, she has to adjust the difficulty. And let's say the exercise is Melissa attacks and I defend. So she attacks, I defend, and I try to do a parry and repost, for example. So Melissa adjusts the exercise in a way that for me it should feel somewhat challenging. So if I missed here, this was a, a failure basically, but then um, I got a bit better and I actually hit on the, on the third one. And the optimal rate of success that you're gonna strive for is about 80%, okay? You should succeed at least in 50% of the time, so half the time you should succeed because if not, it gets very frustrating, okay? But it should feel somewhat challenging, okay? And of course, Melissa now as a coach is restricted by the gear that I put on, okay? She can't go too fast or she risks my safety. And priority number one is always training safety because you want to do a lot of training and you don't want to get injured and miss a lot of training, therefore, all right? So, should be challenging, right? But you should succeed most of the time. So, adjust accordingly. We are a coach and trainee in these exercises, especially in the drills, right? But also for free fencing, always remember your training partners. You're not determining who is the better fencer, but you try to get better yourself to enhance your fencing skills and get ready and better for the next time. Okay, so much for this lesson. Thank you very much and see you next time.